jumped off the wagon. Hi, my name is Heidi Brickhouse, and welcome to Wayfinder the Bus. Let me show you in. So here we have my living room. I kept this area open because I have a handicapped door that opens to lay flat against the bus. And here I put in two hooks for my hammock chair, so on a nice day I can open the door and hang out and have yeah, a good time. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Here's my couch. It's a pretty typical schooly type of couch. It pulls out into a bed and it also lifts up for storage. But what some other people might not have is the flip forward table that I have back here. And I'll show you if I can get my dog out of the way. Porter, come here. <laughs> you like your babe? Come on. Right. Oh, Porter. Hold on. Ooh, come on. Okay. Come on, redo that. Then go outside. Then go outside. Anyway, no, <laughs> no, go, go on. <laughs> All right, so this is my flip forward table for my couch and it just pops up like that. And I have a surface that I can sit at in front of my couch. Nice. And it's made out of my old bed frame, welded together and three pieces of scrap wood. So the only thing I had to pay for on this couch were these bolts. <laughs> And it just folds I like that idea. back in like so, and then you can put the couch back up. Right now it See, has... now you're giving me ideas of how to modify my bus. Yeah. It's all covered up because of my dusty dog. So if we come this way, I have my kitchen. And because it's just me on the road, I decided to just go with the cooktop. And I have a stovetop oven. And basically anything you can make in an oven, you can make on the stovetop. In the sure. Omnia stovetop oven. <laughs> But all of my cabinetry came from Habitat for Humanity. I was big on thrifting. And so I just redid the cabinets and added new hardware. And I went with just an Ikea countertop. And another thing from Habitat was the sink. Originally a double, I cut it down into a single. So I had a nice deep sink, but shorter. <laughs> yeah. My upper cabinets are just old toilet paper towers turned sideways. So this is where the rolls would have gone and then like a sure. tissue box. And then over here we have my bathroom and I used birch plywood for my shower and painted this mural of the snake going across. And I put spar urethane on the walls, 11 coats sprayed in order to waterproof the walls. And then I used Lexel sealant in all of the corners because it's clear. <laughs> Nice. And I also added this um, skylight bubble in the shower, so I have an extra five inches to be able to stand up and wash my hair sure. and do what I gotta do. Oh. On the other side, I have a composting toilet, pretty standard. I use coconut core and um, my bug wallpaper, <laughs> which is a pretty big hit. Um, again, since it's just me, I have a full-size bed in the back. I've been using this bed for the past several years and didn't see any reason to buy a new mattress. But I also have my little chandelier that I love. It's beautiful at night. And in the back corner, I have my instant on hot water heater vented through the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And of course the bed lifts up for more storage underneath. Yep. Over here we have my closet, which was another thrift find at Habitat. It was an old, pantry cabinet for ten dollars and all i had to do was make the front door and i have my full length mirror and all of my clothes and my shoes go down there also another free piece was this it was being given away when a family was moving across the country so i repainted it and made it mine <laughs> yeah um do you have a solar I do not have solar yet, but I do have a battery bank that powers all of my 12 volt system. Right. So I can use my water pump and my fans and uh, my heater, my diesel heater. 
So um, I charged those banks up with my generator, but in a couple weeks I do have an appointment for solar, so that's very exciting because at that point I'll be able to use my fridge. <laughs> yeah, you may want to think of uh, putting a uh, DC to DC charger in. Yes, so I do. So when you're driving, plan. it'll also charge it up. Yeah, I do plan on uh, having the alternator be able to charge it for sure. But um, yeah, so I have my little fridge here and I put it on a riser so it lifts it up and I keep my dog's food dish down there. Sure. This way I'm not having to hunch into the fridge all the time. Right. Oh, thank you. Thank I, you I like so what much. you've done with the bus. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, if anybody has any questions, do you have any social media presence? Yes, or... um, you can find me at Wayfinder the Bus on Instagram and on Facebook. Okay, excellent. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.